Today, I'm gonna to be checking out the functionality of a GoPro Hero 10 as a webcam. The video that you're looking at right now is being recorded by my GoPro Hero 10, which is right in front of me about 30 centimeters away. It's plugged into my 2019 iMac via USB-C cable, and I've downloaded the freely available GoPro webcam software, which you can get from the GoPro website. And I'll leave a link to where you can get that in the description box below. I'm recording into OBS software, which allows me to record both a video stream and an audio input simultaneously. And this is the resulting video. So as you can see, we get amazingly high quality 1080p video resolution, which is far superior than the video camera that's built into my 2019 iMac at only 720p. So it has a really nice crisp quality about it that you would expect from a GoPro. The other advantage of using a GoPro as your webcam is that you get that wider field of view. So as you can see behind me, we have all of my studio in view right rather than a much tighter frame that you get in a regular webcam built into your computer. And of course, the other advantage is that you can move your GoPro around independently of where your computer is situated. So I can have it at a higher perspective, lower, left or right, or anywhere I like to get the scene just right. So a lot of reasons why using a GoPro as a webcam could be a really great advantage for you for live streaming, video conferencing, or any type of recording on your computer. So in relation to its compatibility, once you've installed the software, it seems to work on just about any video streaming software. As I said, I tested it with OBS and I've also used Zoom video conferencing and it works just as well. In order to get this audio, I've plugged in my Thronmax M-Drill 1 USB microphone and I've configured that in OBS as the audio source. So I'm using the GoPro as the video and I'm using this external USB microphone to get this quality of audio and that's a perfect setup for live streaming and video conferencing. Now I'll switch over to the built-in camera on my iMac and as you can see, it's a much tighter frame and the quality is inferior at 720p. So let's switch back to the GoPro. As you can see, a completely different look. I quite like the fact that I can use my GoPro for all of those reasons. So if you wanna do it, just head over to the GoPro website, download the GoPro webcam software and you can install it on either a Mac or Windows computer. If you wanna stick around, I'll show you how to configure it using OBS so that you can easily set up your GoPro as a webcam and start streaming on popular platforms such as YouTube and Twitch. Let's get started. So once you have OBS open, click on the plus button icon in the scenes window to create a new scene. Click on video capture device and now you can see in the drop down list after having installed the GoPro webcam software, you get an option to select your GoPro. Usually you can leave the settings to default if your GoPro footage doesn't show up once you've plugged it in via USB. You can uncheck the default and try and play around with the resolution and frame rate until it shows up. The only thing I had to do was to resize the preview window so that it fits entirely in the screen. So to do that, you just grab one of the edges of the red bounding box and drag it in until your image fits completely in the preview window. The only other thing you need to do is to configure your audio. By default, it might be capturing your computer's audio, but for a better result, I would highly recommend you plug in a USB microphone, click on the plus button in the sources window and select the audio input option. And in the drop down list, select your connected USB microphone. And once you've done that, you're ready to start streaming with your GoPro and connected USB microphone. Hopefully you found this information useful. If you did, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them in the comments box below. See you on the next one. Bye for now.